So I get a lot of comments on my channel, uh, especially when I do setup videos and videos that are kind of more intensive with, with going back and forth with setup and whatnot. I always get comments saying, just ride your bike, which is valid for sure. I'm, I'm always happy to just ride my bike, but being consistent with your setup means more fun on the bike, to me anyway. It means I can have more fun on the bike. So what I'm getting at is if I don't pay attention to my shock, fork, and tire pressures, it's very hard for me to ride with confidence. And the reason it's hard for me to ride with confidence in a setup I'm unfamiliar with, not because I'm not skilled enough to deal with a bike that's not quite the same, but because I like to ride fast, and I know that when I crash, it's either because of me or because of a setup issue. So yeah, that could be 50-50, could be 70-30, whatever, but there's it's always a factor. And if I know that my setup's perfect, I'm always confident, and I'd to know what is a perfect setup takes a lot of time and a lot of messing around, a lot of a lot of back and forth, a lot of trying variations that you aren't even sure are gonna work or don't even know what direction you're going in. You've got to try and change things and a little PSI up, a little PSI down, a little bit of compression, this, that and the other. But what I want to talk about is air suspension. I went out for a ride this morning, obviously. Haven't changed yet, literally just got back. So, beautiful hot day, it's probably mid 30s today. We went out, it would have been mid 20s in the morning, low mid 20s in the morning. Uh, left my bike as it is, because I had it set up on a reasonably hot day a couple of days ago. So I didn't touch the suspension for the first run. So I go first run, warm it up, let the bike warm up, let the air and the, the day warm up a little. Down the bottom, thought, nah, it didn't feel too bad. It's pretty close. Did another run, and by that stage, it got a little bit warmer again. And that run was choppy. That run was a little hard in the back, a little hard in the front, and just a little erratic. It was a little bit erratic, and, and I, was, I was getting caught up by bumps that in the perfect setup, I'd be slaying over. I'd be just straight across. So down the bottom, check tyre pressures. So my tyre pressures are 24 in the back, 22 in the front. I like 21 in the front as well. But 22 in the front, unless it's real choppy. If it's real choppy, 21 in the front's okay. 22 in the front's pretty good everywhere else. So I got down the bottom. Back was at 27. Tire gauge, uh, digital tire gauge. Absolutely, absolutely essential if you want to keep your ride consistent and, and be at your max confidence every ride because you know everything's right. You know everything's going to respond exactly how it should respond. Front tire was at 24 psi, so had gone up obviously a couple of psi as well. So I dropped them, went back to I actually went to 23 on the back and 21 on the front, thinking that it might go up a little bit more again, just as a bit of an experiment, thinking it might raise up a little bit more again. Uh, suspension, <clears throat> my fork sweet spot is 85 psi, two tokens, 170 mil. Uh, five clicks of compression, no idea with the rebound, just fast but not topping out. Uh, when I checked the pressure, fork was at 88. Rear shock, my rear shock pressure, my favourite is 162, 161, 162, seems like absolutely sweet spot with the compression dial in the middle. If I go to 165, 166, I can run it with the compression dial open and have a good... Uh, more spring, less less damping uh, kind of setup, which is fast as well. But I think I like the control of a little bit less spring, more damping in the back. So the zero, it's got a, it's got minus zero and plus on the little compression setting. So a little bit of compression, but mainly spring for support, which is kind of answers a question I got. I've been asked a few times, and I got asked recently about do I prefer more spring or more compression. Um, do I lean more on spring for support or more on compression for support? I lean on the spring for most of my support and compression for just to top it up a little bit and, and mainly for control. If I'm on the higher end of the compression dials, I'm two under sprung. If I'm on the lower end of the compression dials, if I'm like two clicks or three clicks starting to get choppy, means I'm oversprung. 
So, and then spring configuration is another discussion altogether, the, 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 the curve of the spring, so tokens and whatnot. Uh, haven't run any, oh, well, I won't go into that. Um, I was gonna start talking about the run DSD and all that stuff, doesn't matter. Uh, so the rear shock, like I was saying, 161, 162 is my sweet spot. Put the pump on it at the bottom. So this is after, so sitting at the bottom, having a bit of a bite to eat, letting the bite cool from the run, which is important. Uh, I know you guys will be like, oh, just ride your bike, you'd be too picky, but precise. You know, if you want to be, practice makes better, perfect practice makes perfect. If you want to ride perfect, you've got to practice your corners perfect. If you want your bike to ride perfect, you've got to set it up perfect. So I know that there's, you know, yeah, whatever, but that's, that's how I like to do it, and that's how I get the best results out of all the bikes that I ride and test. So anyway, 161, I put the pump on, and it was at 168, I believe. Uh, so, um, might have even been higher than that. It might have been eight or nine PSI higher. So I dropped that down. Uh, obviously, that explains why it was choppy. Dropped it down, headed up for a run. The back wheel, the back tire felt a little soft at the 23, it didn't, didn't raise up at all, so that just felt a little bit soft at 23. Uh, front felt okay at 21. Fork felt killer, rear shock felt killer. Uh, I come out pretty tame out of the gate. First couple of corners chill and then just started putting some little bit of sauce on it and mac the bottom half. Didn't really sprint in the middle too much, but mac the bottom half, did a 251 down at Moriata, which is an honorable time. Um, and this thing's got way more in the way more in the tank. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to KOM or not not really KOM. I'll KOM that track because I've already got the KOM there But I'm sure I'll PR everything that I'm riding everything that I've ridden that I've set fa fast times on I'll equal or I'll improve uh, this bike feels easy to go fast. I Like the 29er. I'm definitely Definitely going to a coil on the back uh, maybe sooner rather than later, we'll see what comes in the near future and, and availability and stuff. But I definitely want to call in the back to keep it consistent. Uh, but yeah, I guess the point of this little rant is spend the time, set your bike up, and if it's going to be a warm day, have your tools handy. So we've got a digital shock pump and a digital pump ga a digital tire pressure gauge. Have your tools handy so you can do a run or two, and if you know it's feeling a bit choppy or feeling a bit out of whack, and you've got, you know your settings, you know what feels best, go down, pump it all up, you'll be super happy. You'll be super happy. Every time you get on the bike, it'll feel exactly the way you want it to feel, which means no holding back in the corners, no holding back in the rough, no holding back on the, you know, where you're kind of carrying high speed and it's a veering left, and, but it's a little bit choppy in the back, so you can't really turn the bike. There's no more of that. It's exactly how you want it, exactly where you want it. It's a no-brainer. So, um, yes, I'm too picky. No, I don't care. And uh, if you want to be the same, you know, if you want your bike to be singing all the time, get the tools you need and, and set it up right. So, I'm happy with the bike. I'm happy with the full 29er for now, which is something I didn't think I'd be happy with. I'm not confident to ride it on steep trails. That's the only thing that's holding me back. I'm not confident to to send it in on steep trails yet. I'll ride a couple of steep trails this week and see where that back tire sits and and uh, where the restriction is and, and whether it definitely needs a 27. I'm not gonna put a 27.5 until I get shorter cranks because I'll just be smashing into the ground and that's a recipe for disaster. So uh, yeah, we'll see. And Crocodile Dundee. One of you guys has commented on my videos, uh, you want to hear me say Crocodile Dundee, so there it is, you're welcome. <laughs>